previously on Big Brother. By a vote of five to zero, Josh, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. As Josh left the house, formerly evicted house guest Amy was voted back in, bolstered by a surprising vote from Lisa. If you want Amy to return, raise your red paddle. If you want Eric to return, raise your black paddle. A fishy mix of house guest soup was the scene of the next head of household competition. (laughs) And a southern belle, just back from south of the border, found herself sitting pretty. Welcome back, you're our new (laughs) ace Who will Amy choose to nominate for eviction? It's all tonight, along with a surprise visit from Grammy Award-winning artist Sheryl Crow on a special two-hour Big Brother 3. vote of five to zero. When it said five zero, I was like, <gasps> and then I was like, oh my God, I hope it's not five zero on the other way. Josh, you are evicted <gasps> from the Big Brother house. If Roddy walked out that door, I don't know what I would have done. Good luck to all of you, for real. It was tough to see Josh go. Personally, I like Josh. I cared about him from the beginning. All right, later, bro. I can truly say that I'm happy he left. The seeds that he Sewed, still grow in his house. Are you sweating it or what? Yeah, of course. I was, yeah. It was emotionally draining getting on the block and being nominated. I was a little bit afraid I was going. I kept thinking, like, what if they all universally dumped it? Roddy made a comment when he heard the number was five to zero. He doubted for a moment that the five votes were to evict him. Right there, I went, you know what? He didn't trust me. Five down. Five to go. But, hmm, we got one more coming back in the house. I feel so amazingly blessed that Amy's back. Above and beyond the strategy, I just feel so happy to have my friend back. Don't like the braids too much, but everything else I love. Thank you all. Thank you all so much. Now I have mixed emotions just because it's like it's Amy and it's not like this girl that I really like, you know, was so sad to see go. I was really excited to see Amy, but the second that she looked at me and told me that Eric said hi, my heart jumped into my throat and I was even a more, more of a wreck than I was last week. vote for Eric to come back. If you want Amy to return, raise your red paddle. If you want Eric to return, raise your black paddle. His girlfriend, or the person that he's been with, is the person that kept him (laughs) from coming back and trying to win $500,000. That's a big thing. (laughs) I feel so selfish and greedy, and that's not a feeling that I want to feel. But if Eric came back, he wouldn't understand why I wasn't still with Kiara and Roddy. And his mentality would have just been, oh, well, you know, the four of us are back together again and everything would be great. And I just can't forgive like that. It hurt me what Kiara did. I vote to evict uh, Lisa. And it hurt me that I feel like it was, you know, Roddy helped it or Roddy was behind it. And the thought of Eric coming back in the house and teaming back up with Roddy just obviously didn't sit well with me. Eric, I'm sorry, and I just hope that you can forgive me. Welcome back, you're our new (laughs) HOH. It feels good to win something because you deserve it and because you work for it. Ah, thank you, Theo, for telling me. Thank you, Cody. 
I, I regret jumping out of the tub early. I wasn't feeling it today. I was nervous. I was on the block. I barely slept at all last night. In fact, I barely went to bed. It's a huge deal to just bat, like just drop an HOH competition like that. It's scary because I did put her up, and it's an easy excuse. She could come right back and say, I'm going to put Roddy up. Amy can do some ass kicking over the next couple days. And my room's ready. You know, I had a lot of time to think, and for about... 12 hours, everyone was on equal ground except for Marcellus. Everyone was pretty much in danger. I smell the cheese. Is it just I me? smell the cheese from here. I've said so many times since I've been in the house, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. For once, I'm the bride. Ta-da! What'd that get? Oh, my God. I'm so happy about winning head of household. First off, Marcellus and I get our room back. Did you actually get black satin sheets? <laughs> Oh my God. I may not be able to stay up in here, Amy. Oh, my God. She's no, gorgeous did. with dark hair. Oh, oh my yeah. God. That's my wig in New Orleans. Amy, I have a problem with the Confederate flag in the background of this picture. I was at a fraternity house, I honey. I want to cut that out. Yeah. My Sarah Bartman scene. You got, you got, oh. and I want to be listening to music. Oh, that yeah. body scene. Oh. Amy, you think you got a letter from home or something? No. Words cannot express how proud your mother and I am of your performance on Big Brother 3. The entire Memphis area is behind you. You would not believe the attention you have generated. You have been yourself, and I guess that's what we're most proud of. What everybody is seeing is the real Amy. Oh, they're going to make me cry. I guess being locked up with 12 strangers for that long of a period would even drive me to drink. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this. This is going to be so much fun. I've always wanted head of household. I know that Kiara is worried. She didn't want me to get it because she's so afraid that I'll put her up. These are my flowers. Oh, well, here, put the rose in there too. My feelings of Amy's return. I know that her and I, you know, didn't always get along. That bitch. That's absurd. She wants you. My approach with her is going to be just like it always has been. I don't play down to her, I don't play up to her. She kind of knows who I am and I think I know who she is. And we thought you would be the best candidate to come back because you knew you were leaving. It was such a happy time when you left, yeah. it wasn't a miserable yeah. time. Everyone else who would come back was gonna be revengeful and hateful. Yeah. You had been the one person yeah. who came back and wasn't gonna be revengeful and hateful because when you left, you knew I the didn't vote. Have a I don't have a reason We all sat around exactly. and talked, you were the only person who got that goodbye. Uh, yeah. You got a unanimous of it, you knew it was coming. Yeah, and it did, you know? yeah. yeah. Come on in. Come in. How are you doing? Feel better? Yeah. <laughs> I think Kiara was being nice to me and talking to me and pretending to be my friend and whatnot just to try and save herself. I came in here and Amy and, and Kiara are sitting on the bed being all buddy, buddy, buddy. Kiara and Kiara was kissing her ass. Now Roddy and Kiara could be scared because, you know, what they did is coming back to bite them. I'm just glad to have Amy back. That way she could do the dirty work for me. <laughs> Roddy was the person who put Priscilla's and Amy up together. Oh, yeah. Blind the bitch. Payback the bitch. A little hammock time? Yeah, I could use it. Marcellus and I had a great conversation on a hammock tonight. Uh, you know, I've had a bit of a reputation where people think that maybe I'm, and for Marcellus' word, masterminding everything. So we sort of just talked about his relationship to Josh and the taint that still hangs on him. And now the taint that hangs on him because of things that Kiara has done. Things that have happened in the house that since Kiara became head of household, mm -hmm. I haven't personally agreed with. What Kiara did, what Josh did, all that stuff might seem a certain way. I want everyone to know that there is a separation between the deals you make and the people you spend time with. Think about my position a minute. Okay, I'm thinking. If the world viewed things the way I did, you would never have experienced any crap about being gay or being black your whole life. I like caring about people, and if, even if it's hard, I do it because people offer love, and I try to give it back. I'm playing this game straightforward. I don't think Marcellus understands that. You tell me you have nothing to do with it, and I take you at your word. Mm -hmm. Because you haven't lied to me. See, I think Marcellus thinks I could probably win this game. I hope I can trust Marcellus. But see, my concern is, I ponder, I wonder, does Marcellus have a deal with Roddy? 
at the end of the day, I really like the person who Roddy portrays himself to be to me. And I really believe a lot of the things that that person says. Everybody else seems to want to go after Roddy. I am happy I met you. Me too. I'm happy I met you. <laughs> but I personally am not going after Roddy at this juncture. We're happy to have Amy. So what did the devil say? The devil was nice. The devil was kind. Um. I'm gonna go. They work you. I need to know everything that um, Kiara said to Amy. I don't know what she said. But I'll find out tonight. I'll just tell your girl and remember that they nominated me and you. I have nominated Amy and Marsalis. That's it. That's all I have to say. One of them got to go over in trouble. Are you going to tell her to do that, Marsalis? I don't want to tell her what to do. You know what I mean? Can you tell her to come see Danielle? That I will do. What are you thinking? Paravito. If she puts us up, I'm, I'm either going to go for it or something, because two votes is better than one, that's all I have to say. All you need is three to stay in. Do you know what I'm saying? So if I remove Roddy, then Roddy's a vote for me, no matter what. Do you think she's going to put him up? I... What do you know? I know. You know what? She walked out of this house because of one person in her mind. That's Roddy. Who's she gonna put up with them? I don't know. Maybe Jerry? Maybe Jason? I don't know. You never know. Never know until tomorrow. You know, John, she told me and you said that no matter what I did to amend with her. That she wouldn't forgive it. And if that's the case, then yeah, then I'll see at the cast party. No one has a feel in what she's thinking. It's pretty scary that she could come in here and you know stir the pot a bit. If that's not the case, it could be interesting. My tactic right now is I am officially without tactic for this week. All I can do is hope to survive this and advance on. Check. If I write my own death certificate by making my nominations then so be it. You are back. I am so excited to have my Amy back. Can't do it in denim, Amy. I'm just playing. Marcy and I get our room back. You know, that was the first <laughs> thought that I had. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have that, that our own room so we can talk and talk and talk. She left the trailer park and forgot where it was. <laughs> <laughs> she left the trailer park dates. for a pack of cigarettes <laughs> and some bread and forgot <laughs> where it was. <laughs> She woke up three states over with some man named Raul. Raul. No matter what, you are still a co-star. <laughs> I am the star. I am the star. Oh, we are so smart. Who was the comeback boy? And I am the comeback queen. Amy feels like someone I've known forever and somebody I will know forever. Oh, Marcellus. Living room, it's time. Being head of household, I had to gather everyone in the living room for the food competition. Are you ready? Don't look at it yet. <laughs> All the females, you have three minutes to change into your swimsuits. When Big Brother says it's time for swimsuits, you never know what to expect. Boys, put on what's in the bags. I hate you guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. We pull out the Speedo. That was incredibly, incredibly small. Today, let's get into it. <laughs> oh 
my God. And it made me look like I was like some fat girl in underwear. I'm not coming out. You have to money. I'm not. <laughs> From Calgary, Alberta, <laughs> it's, it's Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. You know, as they say, let's get some mustard for those hot dogs. Marcellus? <laughs> Finally! Ladies and gentlemen! Yes! Blasphemous, I tell you. Let's go! <sighs> oh my god. In this week's combined food and luxury competition, each of you will be responsible for winning our food for one day next week. You'll also be able to pocket some cash to be used to send someone on the outside a special gift. Jerry was stating that it was his 28th wedding anniversary. It was my idea that we'll chip in, combine our money, so he can send his wife a anniversary present. You will have 15 seconds to collect 10 food vouchers and as much money as you can. Big Brother gave us these Speedos to wear, and it was basically to put us on a level playing field with the girls. You may not exit the booth with any money or vouchers in your hands. Food voucher, white. Money, green. If you fail to complete the food portion of the task, the house will eat peanut butter and jelly on your specified day. I am allowed to play if I so choose. I may make up a day one of you has lost for the house. Is everybody ready? All right, let's go. All right. Yay! Going first is never good, because you're the guinea pig. don't have any strategy because you haven't seen anyone else do it. Stop! 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 Get it! Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, she's got some in there. Come on, baby. $20 towards yeah. the gift for an outside person. And seven. Uh. Peanut butter and jelly for that day. I only was $3 short, but it's today and we have no food because of me. Next, we have Lisa! Come on, Lee. Actually, I felt like I got a lot more than I did. Oh, she's gonna do it, she's gonna do it. Get one more, get one more, get one more. Float in front of you. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, mate. Oh yeah, keep pulling it out. 25. There you go. The all-important food yeah. voucher. That looks Eight. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Nine. 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 And I pulled through, and I got us food for tomorrow. My dad is a minister. He's like, what are they having my little girl do? <laughs> Stuffing dollar bills in my bathing suit. You gotta stop. It's almost over. Catching us are coming down, Danny. Catching us are coming down. It's important to not right. stop even when the um. Okay. <laughs> okay, on the money. Twenty-five dollars. And on the all-important food vouchers, we've great. got. Roddy's bathing suit wasn't big enough to cover that fabulous ass. Get him, get him. Oh, oh. Okay, that's it. Good. Okay. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. We have ten dollars. Ten, ten, six, seven. I stunk it up. I was the worst competitor out there. Yeah. Oh, Jerry, just get in. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Get it, get it, grab it. He's pale and he's jiggly wiggly all over the place. It was just not a good thing. Yeah, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, there you go. 35, 40, nine, 10, 10. I love the gorilla dance for two reasons. One, because it's just inherently funny to me, and two, because it terrifies Marsalis. don't want to watch, but you can barely turn away, but you know you shouldn't look. It's like, 
Oh god, I didn't need to see that. Grabbing money and stuffing it into my Speedo, I felt like a little bit like a piece of meat. $40. I want to win it and I want to win it big. 14. 15. We're just taking 16, it off. 16. 17. 18. Whoa. 19. Had my bathing suit been bigger, I might have been able to get Mo in it. Come on, get him in there! Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, you put your foot! Behind you, Marcella! Behind you! Let's do it! Yeah. 40. All right. Whoa! 13. Good boy, he's adjacent. 14. You, you can't beat me. No way, Marcellus. Uh -uh. Not gonna happen today. 17 and 18. Oh, and Jay still got the record. I'm oh, okay. playing for my day. Yeah. I have to right the wrong All that has right. been done. Being head of household, I could play at the end to cover for someone else. I chose to play to cover for Monday since Friday was half over, so it wasn't a big deal that we didn't have food for that day. Okay, Amy. Amy, stop. Grab. 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 Go, go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Seven. Oh, I thought we were one short. Eight. Yes! Nine. Nine. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> so Amy won the ten tickets we needed, and we had food for Monday, which we would eat peanut butter and jelly after my abysmal effort. <laughs> Danielle made sure we weren't starving for Sunday dinner and twenty-five dollars for the anniversary fund. Add that up real quick for us to tell us how much Jerry's wife's getting. Two twenty. Two hundred and twenty dollars, which we are all giving to Jerry for his anniversary. Yeah. Happy anniversary, Jerry! With the money I got from the house guests, I'm going to buy an orange tree uh, for my wife for our 28th wedding anniversary. Because every time I eat an orange off of that tree, I'll remember how sweet everyone is in this house and how we really are a family. Let's talk strategy, Jerry. <laughs> um, between a rock and a hard place right now. No fooling. I sat in that tub last night to save my ass. It had nothing to do with nominating people. Because I've been away from everybody so long. I love everybody. <laughs> I, uh, I know. Everybody. I don't want to be an executioner. I have some pressure to put you up. I will not put you up if I can have your vote against someone else. I'm not terribly surprised that I've lasted this long. Jerry, you are safe. Jerry, you are safe. Jerry, you are safe. Jerry, congratulations. You are the new head of household. Jerry, you are safe. Jerry hasn't been nominated because people are putting, I don't know why people are not nominating Jerry. Basically, my strategy is just to hang around at this point. It's true, I've never been on the block. Um, that's, uh, I mean, that's one way to stay in the house. What do you want here? Just one sweet loaf. Great. Thanks, Jerry. Nice of you. Jerry does a good job of watching his back. Sorry this took so long. Jerry is a weasel. If Big Brother is a prison, he is the prison bitch. I just have a lot of respect for you. Thank you so much, Jerry. He seeks out powerful people. He weasels his way into being around them. I expect a friendship outside of this. And, you know, he knows it's, it's probably not a popularity contest. I really think that, you know, Jerry's smarter than everyone thinks. When he plays chess, he plays much differently than uh, all the young guys. We would play aggressively, try to uh, take the guy's king in five seconds, and Jerry would, would sit back and play defense and uh, kind of let you make a mistake, which is exactly how he's playing the game here. No matter what people might think about somebody personally here, the, the game skills are what keep you here. <laughs> he's thought things through and he knows an opportunity when he sees one. It's in my interest to have you in the house. Exactly. Let me tell you something. I got your back. 
if I don't put you on the clock. So I have your word that you'll vote him out. Absolutely. On my dead mother's soul. Okay. Jerry's scandalous. Do you trust Jerry? Nope. But he's still here because everybody in the house wants to go up against him at the end. Jerry probably is having the last laugh. <laughs> Whatever. We need music. I'm going to do it forever from this Even point on. Even if we had a light, constant elevator music or something. something. Break I it. think the elevator music would get to us, though, by day 40. We'd be like, I'm not in the dentist office. I'd like to leave. Right now, we need music. We don't need music for our heart, but we need music for our feet. I think dancing and having a good time right now would be wonderful. Roddy and that goofy dance. It's not goofy. It's highly sexy, and I can see how you'd want to distance yourself from that much eroticism. Why don't you show it to us? Uh, it's just that I just make a fool of myself. Wow. Oh, yeah, he's hot. God, I'm turned on. See that? Ooh, I can't control myself. Everybody in the living room! We were anticipating something huge today, a luxury challenge. Okay, please dress for a special night out. You have one hour! I love to get dressed up, and I love to dress up other people. It was a lot of fun. Everybody looked great. Uh, the girls, amazing. Everyone looked great. I mean, most of the boys looked great because they were wearing my clothes, so that was fabulous. We were having so much fun dressing up, we really didn't know what to expect. There are 18 CD cases hidden throughout the house. We will have five minutes to find all the cases and put the CD puzzle together on the dining room table. Once we have arranged the CD covers so we can read the message and the entire message is read aloud, we may go outside to claim our luxury prize. Is everyone ready? Yes. yes. Don't worry about assembling them until a couple minutes. Open all the drawers you can pass. We tore through this house like a tornado. Here's one. Oh, got one here with the lizards. I've got two. I wasn't going to waste any time, so I started putting it together. How many do we have? You're all. I got like five, guys. Go. Switch rooms. If you've been in one, go to another room. I was in the HOH tearing that room apart. It must look like hell. Did anyone check the freezer and the fridge? How check about the, the store? Right Is there any in the HOH? 30, 40, 15, 16. There are two more. Oh my God. What? Nothing, keep getting it. I was just so nervous that we weren't going to find the last one and would miss it. We got it! We did it! Oh my God! Do we have it? Cheryl Crow in the backyard!
It was awesome, 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 awesome. Crow live in the backyard. Oh my god! It was so good to move and to feel energized and to feel alive and to have Cheryl Crow. We're going to plan until you guys vote us out. <laughs> we get a private concert with Cheryl Crow. It doesn't get any better than that. Even though you intellectually know it's Sheryl Crow, you don't believe it's Sheryl Crow. I don't have digital. I don't have digital I am losing myself and I tell you, I felt young. It's one in what you've got. I'm gonna soak up the sun. Cheryl's a beautiful woman, and boy oh boy, all the boys have noticed that. Seeing another face, another you know, another human being again is uh, was quite remarkable. Don't have no master sweet, but I'm still the king of me. You have a fancy ride, but baby, I'm the one that has the key. Every time I turn around, I'm looking up, you're looking down. Baby, something's wrong with you. The energy of it was just amazing and she was performing for us. I'm like, hi, everybody. I'm staring at her. <laughs> We're starved oh, for affection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll text you. That's it. <laughs> I think she thought I might have, like, jumped on her. Um, but she let me shake her hand. All right, and my salad. <laughs> that was nice. I'm Roddy. Nice to meet you. Amy. Nice to meet you. Danielle. Nice to meet you. Kiara. Hi, Lisa. Okay. Who's going to win? Everybody's like, mm, I'm not going to say anything. Y'all know I'm going to win. <laughs> oh, we're going to do one more for you. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing like a wedding or a bar mitzvah.
precious people I'll already be long gone Based TV shows that we've got to get back to. Oh, what do you call oh, the Cheryl Crow Tour? Oh, oh, awesome. <laughs> and the door opens. I want you to do what you want to do. Amy is sort of like me. Both of us sort of secretly want Roddy to stay. Marcellus has a deal with Roddy. I haven't heard it with my ears, but I got this gut feeling that Marcellus made a deal with Roddy. responsibility. God, this is going to kill me. Basically, Danielle came in the room and she said, have you made up your mind? And I said, yeah, I have. I wanted to put them up when I came in. It was my whole intention. I want to send her out. I want to be the one to send her out. You don't want Ronnie out there? Not before her. The one that put both of y'all up and almost tore your face off? I know, I know, I know, but I don't believe in revenge. It's come back to bite me. She wants Kiara gone. I'm trying to persuade her and manipulate and say, well, how are we going to get rid of Roddy if we don't get rid of him this week? If you want to get out of here, you're going to have to get rid of him. I know, but I want to get rid of Just put them both up and see what happens. If everyone is going to vote Roddy out instead of Kiara, I'm not nominating him. I won't do that. I don't want him to leave. You know that I'm putting Kiara up. Mm -hmm. And it's just who to put up against her. What do you mean? Well, because before I even got here, it was pre planned. I do ever got her out of putting her up. Put Pretty Kiara much. Right? Yeah. Because I was almost given head of household for this reason. Lisa was like, just listen to Marcellus. He knows what's up. Okay. And then um, Jason was like, yeah, you know, same thing. You have to listen. Oh, well, I don't think I won't. 
Have you seen my dilemma? I basically just told him most of it. You know, I didn't really hold too much back. I don't want to put you up. I don't want to put you up. I really don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, are you gonna? After everything that I've learned and you being such a part of that, I can't be your executioner. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. I don't play like that. Just make sure that you make this decision and not, not Danny anyone else. or anybody else. And I can feel that happening. If she starts, if anyone started laying too thick on one side, you have to consider that my respecting you is probably has more weight than someone bullying you. Either you're a really good talker, or I'm just believing you. Have I given you any reason not believing me? No. If my trusting someone gets me kicked out of the house, then you know what, at least I was a good enough person to trust someone. This is definitely a rare occasion. But hopefully it won't be rare. Yeah. Everyone that came in had a different agenda, it seemed like. I'm doing this on my own. So, what that means, you're not putting Roddy up. I'm putting Jason up. I know that you're going to be mad at me. I know that I'm going to have everybody mad at me. And I'm not too concerned about that. It's my turn to do what I want to do, and there's a chance that he'll go out. And as my head of household, I want her to go out. I want to be the one to do it. I hope a man doesn't save her ass. How about you? I'm not going to tell him I'm going to say a word until you do your thing. No, and when don't. you do your thing, I'll stand beside you and I'll protect you as much as I can. Even though I look I would rather write my own death certificate than do what they want or what everyone else wants and then me not be happy with it and then me get nominated next week and go anyway. Go get your bathing suit. Want to go jump in the tub? Let's go. My bathing suit's in there. I'll roll my pants up. Yeah. Roddy is a piece of work. Of course he's like, let's go to the hot tub so he could take off his clothes so I could sit there and have to salivate over that magnificent body and face. I mean, am I going to, like, not listen to what he has to say when he's sitting in the water, like, with just, like, a pair of skivvies on? I mean, wow! So what do you think about doing? I started to bring this up your day. Yeah, I know. Because I don't hear next week. I know how charming, devastatingly charming, Roddy is when he turns it on. So here's the story, Mr. Hanson. Chicago volunteer. What's how we would get He decided to do that. I'm in. Right. You're in. Well, I'm there with you. Feels good, doesn't it? It feels, it's exhilarating. It's the most exhilarated I've been in this game. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> I feel like I've just had people on me so much. Jerry yeah. was in here. Well, <laughs> you do whatever you want to do. Putting the devil up against the saint. Kira against Jason. I know the veto can throw the whole thing and ruin it. Danielle, I might be writing my own death certificate. But I'll be doing it by doing what I want. My question is this. Mm -hmm. You do what you want to do. If you put the devil against the saint, mm -hmm. that's just... And if the devil gets free, mm -hmm. who are you going to put up in its place? If Kiara gets free? I know, there's ramifications, but I'm just, um... If Jason walks out that door, you might have a holy gospel fit. I know, so am I. To be honest, Danielle, 
I'm offended that she is still here. I'm offended that she lasted longer than I am. She offended me on the third day I was here. And I want to send her out. Then you have to guarantee that when she goes up, that there's no way she can get out. I know that. And I've got you coming in here saying, I'm going to get the lot Then what do you want me to do? I want you to vote against her. I'll nominate Roddy if I can guarantee that you're going to vote against her. This is my shot. This is my one time as head of household. I have no guarantees that I'm going to get this opportunity again. Let me see what I can do. I was a little restless sleeping last night because today is nomination day. The mood in the air is a little tense. Are you okay? <laughs> Don't breathe. I'm ready to hit the panic button. Count to ten. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is the hardest thing I've done since entering this house. This is harder than leaving. This is a lot more difficult than I thought. Just a basket case. I'm nervous because I don't know how I'm going to be treated after this. I almost will take the easy way out. When I was putting the keys in the box, there was a moment of doubt. I really did think about it. Um, everybody has to go to the table, okay? I'm just, um, I'm sad. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to see their faces. My heart breaks. Okay, um, here's the deal. Um, I really wanted to win head of household this week, not so that I could nominate anybody else, but so that um, I could save myself. I just wanted to hang out, you know, I just wanted another week. And um, I didn't realize how hard this was gonna be. Please, y'all don't hate me, okay? I know this is just a game, but I just, I still have to live here for the rest of the week. You know, I, I just wanna enjoy the time that I'm here and whoever goes, I want them to enjoy the time that they're here, but so, um, And I shouldn't have worn the eyeliner today. Lisa, you are safe. Marcellus, you're safe. Thank you, Amy. You're safe. Jerry, you are safe.
Jason, you're safe. Obviously, I nominated the two of you. This is not about revenge, and I don't want anyone to think that it is. I do not, because I don't believe in revenge. It's foolish, and it's pointless. And um, when I was in here before, I know that talk was made about how, had I won head of household, I would have nominated the two of you. That never came out of my mouth. I would never have done that. Kiara, the last week that I was here, you were probably the person that I was least close to. And having to nominate from this, you know, very limited amount of people, you just were that way in the lineup. Um, Roddy, I went over this a million times in my head. I tried every possible way to figure out some other way to do this, but it all came down to, like you told Marcel, that you're PR's biggest supporter. And um, there's really nothing that I could do. There's really not. So um, that's that. I don't believe her both about not being revengeful, absolutely not. Any strategy I could have pulled off wouldn't have worked because I had no idea that there was someone coming back. I had no chance. You know, I wasn't surprised at how upset Kiara was after the nomination ceremony. Every one of her fears had just come true at that moment. When you realize that and you see that, that people do have intentions out to get you, it really bothered her, it hurt her a lot. against her. I don't want Roddy to leave and then me to have to deal with Kiara. I'm really praying that this works. I know you felt pressure. I did this on my own, Marcellus. It was just too much to risk. I mean, if he had gotten the veto and he went up, you know, it was just too much to risk. I couldn't take it. I couldn't. Amy is, for all her outward toughness and hardness, she is vulnerable, and she does want desperately to be liked. I absolutely, positively love what you said. It was not about revenge, and that was brilliant, and it was the truth. And when you hear the truth, you know it, because it resonates. Yeah. That was you the spoke truth. with your heart. You know what I mean? Yeah. There was no venom. There was no anger. Amy's decision to nominate Kiara and Roddy, I definitely think, is the right decision. It was about who was closest in the house and who wasn't closest. You in there, Amo? The yeah. Can I give you an emergency hug? <sighs> yeah. Don't worry. I know it was really hard. I understand. I'm so sorry. I understand. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It just came down to the veto. You, you know, had to put somebody I... up. Don't worry, Amy. I'm so sorry. Even if I get out of here and I go, I never hold against you. It's no big deal. It's a game. We all signed up for it and you had to put somebody I know. up. Don't worry. You're off the hook with me. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Marcellus, if I wasn't here, those two would have gone up anyway. That nomination, Kiara versus Roddy, was the will of the house. I'm sorry you're up on the block again because of me. Well, I'm sorry you're on the block. Thank you, though. It never should have happened. You're right. <laughs> I'm just so upset that I never got a chance. What are you thinking? I like being here. I'm just gonna tell everyone to vote for you. Don't do that, please. I don't want it to come down to wanting like numbers. Like this isn't a competition between you and I.
just me. Alright, come in. You did a good job, baby. Thank you. you did a real oh, good job. Yeah. I know it was hard, but you did. I just told the truth. I know Danny wants me out of this game. Danny hasn't even come over and said anything to me. Everybody else in the house did. It's, you know, sometimes you can tell someone's body language, their motives. Please don't mention you guys to Danny that I said that. that it would just cause problems for no reason. Now we got the power of Vito. We gotta fight like hell to get yeah, that son of a Yeah, we do. We do. I'll get it. So whatever the game they have for it, if you guys support me, I'll get it and I'll leave things as is. Yeah, all you have to do is stay in it. Okay, good. Then we got it. thing about this thing is you want people to think that you're on their side. It's on your mind, Dano. Nothing. Just know what I gotta do tomorrow. What does that mean? That's go for the power of veto. Then who goes up against me? Just because I get the power of veto. Why naturally, why take Kiara off? Why not take you off? I don't know what type of competition is in store for us, but if Kiara and Roddy think that I'm on their side, then possibly they'll give me the power of veto. What are you thinking? No. Oh, you're not thinking about anything? No, I'm just sitting here and playing with the seeds of tomatoes. Danielle, come here and sit next to me. Do you think you're gonna get anything out of me? I'm sealed, girl. What do you mean you're sealed? I'm sealed. Sealed how? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have things going through my head. Several things. Right? I'm not gonna tell you neither one. Are they bad? You can tell me, I don't care. They might be bad, they may be good. But as I'm gonna tell you, trust me. I'm gonna leave it at that. You know I trust you, obviously. All right. And if things don't work out accordingly, they don't work out. Hopefully it'll be all right. Hopefully it will. Oh, I'm good. I'm really good. I was laying in bed and Danielle came in the room and was like, are you awake? And I'd just been laying there kind of thinking. Miss Danielle, new suit. Ah! Oh, and you must wear the hats. We all looked super <laughs> in those caps. We were like, uh, you know, a, a Coneheads exhibit or something. Y'all ready? Let's go. Wow. It looks like a slip and slide. That's exactly what it is. Oh my gosh. When I saw the baby all and the little kitty pool, I'm like, they gonna, we have to wrestle. <laughs> baby all. The name of this
this veto competition is Slippery Proposition. And whoever wins will have the ability to slide one of the nominees out of the running for eviction using the power of veto. I know that a lot of people are after the power of veto. Danielle, Marcellus, Lisa. Kiara wanted that veto desperately. The rules are as follows. This competition is a simple game of closest to without going over. You will each take a turn going down the slide in an attempt to come as close as possible to the end line without going over. We now have 15 minutes to practice on the slide. You must slide head first on your stomach the top of your head will determine your end mark. Whoever comes closest to the end line without going over wins the power of veto. In the warm-up, Kiara was really out there practicing and, and really dedicated to making it happen. I really want the veto competition. Because I wanted to remove Roddy off the block. I've been hinted to by people in the house if I used it to free Kiara that I would get voted out. Oil is a beautiful thing. It's fun to lube up. <laughs> I wanted the power of veto today because basically I wanted to leave things as is. Are we ready to make or take a slippery proposition? The winner of this competition might grease the wheels of change in the house with the power of veto. Okay. I slid just a little bit further than I needed to. I mean, I literally was just right over the line. This is the balance of I don't know, that was sort of a Mississippi State slide. It's really important that I get the veto personally because I want the nominations to stay the same. I overshot it on purpose, and Kiara knows I did. <laughs> when it was my turn, you know, I'm trying to be all serious and act all crazy. <laughs> I, was, I was like giggling like a little 10 year old, like, oh, this is so much fun. Jason's mark, and I went, okay, I'm gonna win this. I love this company. I didn't necessarily want it, but I didn't necessarily not want it. Jerry got it, Lisa looked at me and was like, oh. And, uh, you know, I looked at her and, you know, I mean, we didn't really know. Jerry, I hereby crown you power of veto for the second time, making Big Brother history. I'm toying with using the veto. I did have the guts to use it the first time. So you were one of those people that liked that stupid game, huh? I feel like a little kid. We should all be ashamed that the 51-year-old fat-ass man, the biggest 
And Al's won. <laughs> Jerry's capable of anything. Um, this is his second time with the power of veto. You recall Jerry's the only person that actually used the power of veto. To guarantee that one of them are gone, but still, it's the end. Did you see that bitch slimed around like she did today? She was trying to get that money. I won the power of veto more than anyone, I'm sure, on there. Am I pissed off I didn't win it? No. Why? Because I got a chance to compete against it. Everyone had the opportunity to win HOH this week. Obviously, Kiara, as outgoing head of household, you're not eligible to compete this week. And the reason why I didn't, because I was HOH last week. It is what it is. You cannot compete back to back. She knew the rules. If I had known a new person was coming in, I maybe wouldn't have won HOH. And she has not been nice to Amy. You read what you saw. She hasn't been here for two weeks. She has no right to make a decision. She made a decision that she had made two weeks ago. And that's fine, but that's not what this game's about. We basically gave Amy the head of household on a silver platter because we wanted Amy to put Kiara and Roddy up. Eric wanted it, and Eric deserved it a hell of a lot more than that little bitch. Karma is, is a, could be a great thing, and it could come back, and it could, you know, kick you in the ass. And that's what it's doing to Kiara. This game is about strategy and competition. I didn't even, like, get to do that. Roddy is her guy. Why didn't she talk to Roddy and say, Roddy, you have to win HOH because if you don't get HOH, Amy's going to nominate me. How come this wasn't said? Everyone had the voluntary reason to get out of that tub. I didn't get that chance. Please, you break. You know, had I known that we were going to vote on the person that was going to come back, which that was never brought to our attention, way would I remove Josh. Josh was the only person who would have voted for every single person I wanted to be here, here. It was a woulda, coulda, shoulda scenario, but, you know, that's, that's in the past. Josh would have voted Tanya back in this house, and Josh would have voted Eric back in this house. And over Amy and Eric, he would have voted Eric back in before Amy. If Eric came back in the house, she wouldn't have any complaints whatsoever, because the fact is Eric is with Roddy and Kiara, and that's just the way the game is. So, it's just frustrating. She feels as though it's all against her. She thinks everything's unfair. And she's making herself miserable, and I think that's really unfortunate. Please, you break. So like I said, I took the gun out and shot my own self in the foot. I hate Amy, I hated her from day one. <laughs> hey, this is Amy TV! We're just very different people. So I put honey all over myself. I don't respect her. This game is gonna be about honesty, and it's gonna be about truth. Yeah. We're sick and tired of lies and manipulation. Well, you know, it would be like Kiara to preach honesty when she hasn't been that honest. Amy is vindictive and she's cruel, she's two-faced. The f girl is a shameful sight to me. She's still the same loser she was when she left, and that's how I see it. Her cackle, <laughs> I wanna choke her. Her voice, if they had only given one block of cheese per week, I would have been bartering for cheese. I wanna rip her larynx up. And you're right, she is 100% Arkansas, Memphis, Tennessee, where she came from Mississippi trash. And she's trying to make this uncomfortable for me. And that's only making me want to see her go more. And it's only making me enjoy the fact that I put her up there. This girl has trashed me right and left. I'm sure she puts me up and you up because she has vengeance. Someone like that doesn't deserve to stay because she was selfish and she doesn't care. She's been obvious in everything she's done. And I'm going to walk out before she is, probably. Amy is absolutely revengeful. She even said that she knew exactly what she wanted to do when she walked in this house. That's revenge. <laughs> she can just go right back to wherever she came from. Being the drunk slut at the mall. Five, five, five slut. It's bone chilling to know I walk out of this house before she will. As bad as this may sound, I am pretty happy that I get to be the one to um, execute Kiara. <laughs> I knew if they let me back into here, I got to head out house all game and get good.
Oh my god. <laughs> the girls last night sat around the table with a bottle of wine. Just having good sexual girl talk. Give this girl more alcohol. Have you ever had a lesbian experience? I have. Yes. Yeah. Did you like it? I did. <laughs> I was just minding my own business, finished dinner, washing some dishes, and the conversation went south. I've had like four lesbian experiences. But French kissing involved. Please. I just said, okay, I'm out of here. Kissing is kissing, whether it's a girl or a guy. It's, on the, it's no different. Roddy and Jerry were sitting over there playing chess quietly and relishing every word. Have you ever had a lesbian experience? No, I have known a lot of lesbians. Thank you very much. Oh, you are both simple. I am telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. I'm not dumb. Amy, I know you've diked out a few times. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's one place I've never gone. No, I, <laughs> I know believe that. Kidding. It's good to know that Kiara could let down the, you know, revenge wall a little bit and just have fun. As though I'm Kiara and I did have fun together. It relieved a lot of tension. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Two guys. Two guys at the same time. I was in this situation where I'm like, they're both like horny, I'm horny, we're drinking, we're wasted, we're in a room. All I'm like, you know what, why don't we all just hook up together? Sex is nothing to Kiara. She's just throwing it here, throwing it there. I haven't French kissed a girl. Oh, then well, I just said if you kiss a girl on television. Or yeah, I would kiss a girl. Would you French kiss her? Can I get another bottle of wine? Yeah. <laughs> Bring it on! Oh, <laughs> Big brother, can oh, we have some, some more wine? wine? We came to the dining room to beg for another bottle of wine, but we were hoping that we could have one more bottle. And it's raining H O H, she just needs one. Just one. Big brother cut us off. We're all getting along. We're all off. getting along so well. <laughs> Alcohol works wonders, even with Amy and Kiara. <laughs> you know why people hook up so much in bars? Because alcohol really makes you like people, even if you don't like them. I'm here to play this game. All I want to do myself is make it to the end. I got to make it to the end. The only problem I truly have ever had with Danielle is that she works her agenda a little too much. She makes this seem so make or break for her family and for her life. This money means so much to me because I might not have a job, I'll get back home. She just makes the money so important to her that uh, she's got everybody wrapped up in that. I think right now that's the, big, that's the biggest con in this game. Roddy had a conversation with Kiara and I and it was the first time that I've heard Roddy be mean to somebody. That kind of threw me for a loop. This isn't a Make-A-Wish Foundation. Danielle's no victim. This, like, the, the struggling life has been hard to me and I deserve money. I understand that that might be the case, but you're on TV saying that. So it just, that in itself kind of elevates her above a hell of a lot of people. Everyone seems to have bought into that story. I want Danny at the end, I want Danny at the end, and Danny right now is 100% immune to that. She's playing the family heartstrings Make-A-Wish Foundation as the victim. She's worked it way too hard. So hard that it's almost like, you know what? I don't want you to win the money because you've been working me in that angle for so long, so hard. It almost seems like it doesn't have the ring of truth anymore. She's afraid of him. She's deathly afraid of him. I don't like this sort of double dealing, you do my dirty work for me while I pull the strings sort of thing. The key to this game is when people hate each other, hate each other. Don't take care of one another. If I'm in the I'm only swinging. I'm going to make every decision to make myself get closer and closer to the people I care about in this house. That's you, Jason. Are you really, really, really gun ho on getting Kiara out? 
because I, I, to be honest with you, I'm like 50-50. I am. Okay. I wanted to be honest with Amy and let her know that, you know what, I am confused about who should go because I want them both to go. I want to go so bad that it's like, I'm on ball like a baby Thursday night if she doesn't. But you're not afraid of her. Yeah, but I think he'll be easily taken care of because everybody else is afraid of him too. Keep talking to me because you're convincing me more and more. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid of him too. No, I don't want him to stay. But I want to execute Kiara. If I could reconvince Danielle to vote for Kiara to go, I'm not even asking for your word. Yeah. But I'll vote could you try Robbie. to, if he was next one up, would I'll you vote against Ryan? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Completely. I did everything that I could to convince her to vote against Kiara. I don't know if I was successful, but I feel pretty good about it. Kiara and Roddy both have to go. And it would be in the house's best interest if one went right after the other. Between the two, who can be trusted? Between the two. Roddy and Kiara, neither. Right. I think they're both equal. Okay, so we'll get Kiara out then. That's what I'm you and Jason go ahead and do your vote. When I walked in the room, Lisa was there and she got up and left, said that Danielle and I could talk. Well, the principal's all <laughs> Your own room. What do you want? Do you really want her to go? Yes. I cannot leave this house. Going home to my family, thinking I had a chance to get rid of them. And if I leave this house because I am, it's going to kill me. Then you're not going to house because of him. You sure you I swear to you. Because I can't live with that. Oh, Danielle. <laughs> Danielle was basically um, trying to tell me that she would prefer to vote Roddy out this week. I will do whatever I have to do short of kill. Look, I'm telling you, Amy, I can't live with that. Danielle, you're not going to. If, if he puts you up against anybody, if he puts you up against me, I will campaign against myself. I will voluntarily go. You are not going to leave this house because of him, Danielle. I promise you, I will not let that happen. Okay. I'm going to support your decision, I will, I will but, my, do it, you know? but my gut's not telling me. I've been out there, and I'm not afraid to go back. I know, but I'm here for my family. I know, I know that. All right. Awesome. I want you to win this. I'm letting my feelings for Amy getting away with this one. I know good and well Roddy should walk out that freaking door. So be it. Okay. I, I really hope she doesn't back out at the end. And if she does, I really hope that we have the votes to keep him here. Am I going home? Huh? Am I going home, man? Uh, no, actually, I'm campaigning the other way. Pretty f***ing hard. I'm campaigning to keep Roddy here because I feel like he did something for me. I didn't realize I was such a great persuasive speaker. If Roddy nominates me and my ass walks out that door, because of that, I'm going to hate myself. Yeah, I'm going to be angry for a while probably, but for the most part, you know, I'll get over it. It's not a big deal. Now I'm like, yeah, I really actually want to go. You know, what if you stayed? I don't want to stay. I'm going to make that abundantly clear. After, if the, he does not save you, the veto meeting, if he doesn't save you, I don't want you to go. Okay, gather around. It's, this is the veto meeting. Amy, yeah, you need to sit I there. I take my traditional seat. Makes it better. I'll sit back. Uh -huh. If Jerry uses the power of veto, I could see Amy putting me up. And in her mind, it would be because I'd be safe. All right. This back is the veto the meeting. I was a little nervous when the meeting, veto meeting began because um, you never know what's going to fall or people's reactions are going to be. As you know, Roddy, Kiara, you've both been nominated for eviction. I have the power of veto. I can veto one of your nominations. Um, but before I tell you my decision, I get to give you a chance to tell me why I, I should veto you. And uh, now's your chance. And breaking with tradition, I'm going to let Roddy go first. Go. Wow. Well, I do not want you to use your veto on me. I think. Uh, for you to drop the hammer on either one of us, let the house decide. But I think this week in particular, that it would be on the veto bearer's soul to drop the hammer, and I don't think that this is an appropriate time for that. I would never put you through what I had to go through last week. <laughs> so therefore, I would just Thank say you. that your decision has probably already been made, and uh, I support you either way. Okay. 
Well, kids, I've decided not to use the power of veto. Um, and it was a lot harder than the last time I had to veto. Actually, to be brutally honest, uh, it, w it was selfish. It's, it was better for me not to than to use it. And so, I'm sorry, kids, but I was real selfish. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry, sorry. Jimmy. Well, I'm not going to cry. I just <laughs> feel, <laughs> I feel like a dog. Oh, <laughs> okay, so that's it. So be it. That's it. So that's it. all. All right. Now let the house decide. You know, he was honest. He was quick and efficient, and we were all very happy about that. <laughs> he was using it for his own strategic reasons. He didn't want to make any enemies. Kiara has told me that I should be confident to stay, and I don't believe it. I don't. Everyone says one thing out there, and they say something totally different back here. That's becoming a norm. This week, I'm packing for real. I have a fear I'm going to be going home. My short-term strategy of breaking up a couple's alliance seems to have been relatively successful. Danielle and I, we get along very well, but I think you know certain things we never said to each other about the game. I, I will tell you this without causing huge problems. Starting with Josh and ending with almost everybody but Jay, it's been said to me from, for weeks now that you want to get me out of this house. I've heard a story from every single person in the house at one time or another, and that the reason why you pulled Jay against me was because you didn't want me to have any support, you wanted Jay to doubt me. Not true. Yeah, I said that. I said that exactly. And only Marcellus is the one that said that. He told Roddy my plan. Have I let you down? Have I not done anything? No. You know? No. I, I'm, I understand that the same way how things are easily misconstrued here. But you know how, like, as everyone said here, if you he hear something so many times, you sooner or later it. you're like, geez, I got to watch out for that. I personally have feelings that, that Danielle, she likes me, but probably doesn't want me in the house at the end of the game. I understand you keep your cards close. I, I keep them really close. I understand that, and I, th I do respect that, and I think that's cool. Well, Marcellus, you're playing me. Danielle came up to me saying that Marcellus told Roddy that Danielle was coming after Roddy. The way he said it was like my words exactly. Only people are gonna tell him it's Marcellus. I really don't know what's stirring this whole Danielle and Marcellus all of a sudden against each other thing. Marcellus turned. You gave up the ghost, you told people my secrets, I don't trust you, then you have to go. Simple as that. You don't mess with me. I think it's the opportunity to get rid of Roddy. But Amy really wants Kiara gone. Nothing's guaranteed right now. We don't know exactly what the plan is and what we're going to do. I don't know who I want to keep in this house. I'm having a really hard time deciding which one needs to go. My 50-50 struggle with the two of them is just going to have to continue until voting day. Who will be evicted next from the Big Brother house? Roddy or Kiara? Find out live tomorrow night at 8, 7 central.